Hello, everyone. I want to tell you the reason why I serve God. And maybe this will give you encouragement to live for Jesus Christ yourself. I have tried living a life that I thought I wanted to live, as in a sinful lifestyle, fornication, adultery, um, you know, messing with someone's wife. lying, doing a lot of cussing, just acting like a heathen. I lived that life before, which I am not saying I am 100% perfect now, but I do make mistakes still, but, you know, I lived that reckless lifestyle before many things i am ashamed of of what i did back in the past so bold and silly and back when i was in sin or that type of lifestyle I was depressed so much. I was unhappy so much. I was in, in a state, I was in a state to where I believe I could not tell you what happiness was. Imagine that. Like, I did not know what happiness was. I was fornicating. I was doing things I thought I wanted to do. But I was so unhappy. I was very unhappy. I believe there would be times to where back to back, back to back, bad things would happen to me as if someone was choosing to pay me back for the wrong that I was doing for a particular time period, if that makes any sense. And I would think for a while, I would think it was a coincidence. I had hatred, like, I was not happy. See, that's the thing about it. You are, you thinking, you think you are doing what you want to do, but are you happy? If you are not happy by living a lifestyle that is not pleasing to God, why continue to do it? Also, you know, I believe I was speaking about, I was reaping what I was sowing. I believe I noticed too that my life was more difficult when I chose to live outside of God's rules. I believe there was a time where even when I was in sin, I believe I had more money and probably more stuff. But even with all of that, I believe I still felt empty. Now, I forget on exactly what I had back then, but I believe I have a bit less now. I believe I have less money less clothes. Um, 
you know, I'm, I'm not fooling around with woman after woman like I used to. So I would say, let's say I have less than what I had before, but I know what happiness is. I know what joy is. You can't, I don't believe you can find joy and happiness outside of Jesus Christ. I don't think it is possible. I don't think it is possible. Also, yes, problems come my way. But I don't have to deal with my problems alone. I don't have to carry my own burdens. Yes, I have to go through problems, but I can ask Jesus Christ for help. That makes life so much easier. Yes, sometimes I get sad. Sometimes I may get a little depressed. Sometimes, you know, things may not go my way, but it is so different. It is so different than before. Before, if I am saying this correctly, before, I don't know if I had too much hope. I knew of God back then, but I was, you know, I knew some things, but, you know, I, I did not really want to do what is right um, at a particular time. I wanted to have fun, which it is ridiculous to believe the only way you can have fun is by sinning, which is so strange to think that way. My life is easier now probably than it has ever been. Yes, I have my struggles. Yes, I have problems. Yes, I may feel like I get challenged. Yes, I get spiritually attacked. But even with all of that, even with all of that, my life is so much easier. My life is so much more comfortable. I would say I am happier with less because I believe I have less than I had it before when I was doing what is wrong at a particular time. So what I have in Christ now, it is more precious than gold, more precious than amber and what are some precious stones. Um, more precious than silver and platinum and whatever else like that. Rubies, jewels, more precious than those things. I would not trade what I have in Christ for anything. Because I believe only in Jesus Christ you can have peace. Just because you are having problems doesn't mean you can't have peace. And I believe I have peace in Jesus Christ. Back then, I don't think I had too much peace. I don't think I did. So, no matter what comes my way, I know that trying to live a life absent from Jesus Christ is folly, is foolishness. I believe one of the reasons why some people go back and forth 
try to serve Jesus Christ and stay away from him for a particular time period. What I mean by stay away from him as in not really try to obey him and stuff like that. I believe some people do that perhaps because maybe they don't know too much about the Bible. Maybe they don't know what to do. Maybe they have not experienced God enough, perhaps. I may have my temptations, but I know going back to that lifestyle is not going to work. It's not going to work. Why? Because I have tried it many times. I have tried living that type of lifestyle many times and it doesn't work. It never works. It may seem like it is working, but after a period of time, you going to reap. Yes, now, yes, I may have to deal with difficult people. I may have to be humble while someone is being very rude to me. Yes, I may have to take someone's attitude, but I'd rather do that than to go, than to live without Jesus Christ. There is so much benefit. See, I think some people don't know. There is so much benefit in living for Jesus Christ. And if you think there is not, then you have not probably researched about God enough. There may be some things that may seem like a disadvantage in living for Jesus Christ. It may seem that way. But I am telling you, there is so much benefit in living for Jesus Christ. So much benefit. So much. That's why, yes, I have my troubles and problems and stuff like that. But no matter what problem I go through, I know the answer is endure, stick with the Jesus Christ, and I will make it through. I will make it through. So much benefit in living for Jesus Christ. So much, I'm telling you, Don't let your problems blind you <clears throat> from what you need to do. I believe we may get so wrapped up with problems to where we begin to think foolishly, to where we think we can prosper in probably every way without Jesus Christ, and I don't think that is possible. So I hope this makes sense. May God bless you.